guys. Welcome back to Mike's Garage. We have an exciting video for you guys today. My buddy Tanner and I, we bought five 2021 model Argos. So we are going to do some testing today in back in the woods, in the creek, over some hills. We're just going to kind of do some overview of the three different models we got sitting behind me. We ended up buying three of the 600s, one 700, and one of the 650s. So the difference between the, between the three models is this has an 18 horsepower motor and the um, smaller axles and tires. This has a 23 horsepower motor with the same axles and tires as the 600. And then you have the 700 that has beefier axle carrier bearings and a 23 horsepower motor as well. The, ben the, the benefit from this one too is this one also is fuel injected. And I will say right off the rip that that has been a huge plus. So right now it's middle of the winter, cold out. These have been kind of troublesome getting them started in the cold. This one fires right up and is ready to rock and roll as soon as you start it up. Um, the other thing too that I've kind of just from getting everything cleaned up and greased up is this one here has the heavier duty axle carrier bearings for tracks. I don't know if I would trust tracks on the smaller models just because of how the wheel bearings are set up. I've already had to replace a few of them um, just from normal use in the last two years that they've been used. So we decided that before we sold them that we would at least go take them out in the creek, um, test them out, see what, and give you guys our true thoughts on how these things handle. Right, we're going to hop in and we're going to go take them back out in the woods. I've been dreaming on in my head like I've seen it A life worth living is a life with meaning I'll do what I love till my heart stops beating I'm feeding this demon Got a taste, can't erase bitterness in my face Work a job every day till your dreams fade away Like a cock, never change, play the game Now we say, I need a break Time to stay strong, need to move on to be what I want. I'll keep dreaming on. Time to stay strong, need to move on to be what I want. I'll keep dreaming on. Woo! 
Ooh. Mike, tell the camera what happened. Don't hit your knee on this. Yeah. It hurts pretty good. The first one that I tried to sell, the lady didn't buy it because she saw me struggling to get in, and she said that her dad would, no, would not be able to get in it. So what we decided to do is do some hot laps. So Mike is going to take it, do a lap, and we're going to, uh, should, we, should we time it, Mike? We can time it. We can time it, yeah. I think it's going to be a race. Let's do it. All right. Well, we'll do, we're going to do that then. Let's, uh, let's get up here to the starting line, buddy. All right, we're gonna start right at this tree. Okay, as you can see, he's cheating already. <laughs> One sec. Ready? You know, you know the lap, right? Uh, down around. Down up. around, up over there. Yep. Ready? Go. Slow start for Mike. Slow start for Mike already. He seems scared. Sending it through the water. He's avoiding the deep stuff. A little hill climb at the end. It's coming around. Woo! 31.18. Uh-oh. Did you throw a belt? Or throw a chain? I don't know what we did. What, that noise? <laughs> yeah. Well, why don't you see if it moves? Something happened. <laughs> that thing looks good, that thing looks good. Oh, you're looking good, bro. She's mint. I'm gonna have to uh, I'm gonna rope a chain slap. Here you go. Okay. By the way, you're not seeing this. He didn't do anything wrong, right, Mike? <laughs> Again, 31.18. That is the losing time right there. Yep, so we're gonna, over here is gonna be a little bit dicey. It gets pretty soft. I, I think a bunch of sediment kind of deposits here and we'll see. I haven't been able to get my Sportsman 1000 up it, so we'll see how. So the one thing that we've learned is that if you're if if you're stuck in mud or anything, you kind of have to go straight. I'm just gonna send it. I think I can make this with the wheelies. Let's not break anything, dude. Man, that's it's pretty disappointing. Hey, try to back up and go up over there. Passing over there, but over here we're good. As long as everybody knows. Mike left his tripod attached to his GoPro. So I keep catching trees and stuff.
Go ahead, buddy. He cheated. He cheated. You went you went to the left. You cheated? This is First Let it be try. let it be known he cheated. It was a cheat. First try. Listen, that doesn't count. He went over there. I, I was trying to not break it and not hit roots, but now I'm gonna have to do it. I'm gonna have to let it be known that I can do this too. First try. Okay. Alright, it's told Mike. Donuts would be fun. I just did some victory donuts, and now I just gotta try them. <laughs> I wanted to hit that tree so bad. Woo! Little dizzy. We might have to keep this one. <laughs> Little dizzy, man. Woo! Yeah, Argos, Argos are not the most capable things I've ever driven, but they are fun. So little updates so far, um, like we kind of said, EFI 100% of the way. Um, the carburetor ones work great, they are cold blooded, so it does take them a little bit to get warmed up. Um, this one literally fires right up. It's got a lot of low end torque to it compared to the other, even though they're the same horsepower, they do feel different. It's a little bit snappier. Um, this right here that was thick, I mean, it was pretty soupy. Um, I am a little bit disappointed in the fact that if you do get kind of down in, in some thick mud, you can't turn. You pretty much have to point it straight. It just bogs the motor down a little bit too much. So that's a little bit tricky. Gets playing used, some playing used to. Um, and high centering, um, like something like this, like a four wheeler, kind of your front tires kind of grab the top of the bank and pull you up where this, it wants to like tip you back. So. The whole that part kind of is a little bit sketchy in, the, in that regards, um, but in regards to deep water, mud, um, it, so far they've been doing great. And we've been mobbing through the creek, and I mean, they're really not that dirty. So um, I am pretty. And impressed. we're not dirty. That's another yeah, huge thing. We're is, not dirty, so. I'm used to being covered, especially yeah. balls to the wall and that, you know, you're, you're not getting dirty. Is there deeper water we can go in, Mike? What do we think? Can we find some somewhere? Down there. Down there. We can go down there. I, I say let's go find deeper water. Let's see if we can get it to float.
Tanner, what happened? Uh, I was playing around and um, I didn't get stuck. I'm just, I want to use the winch. I want to see if it works. That's the only thing I want to do. Um, that's a hard pass. I highly doubt that you were able to get out of the scenario that you were stuck in. I so. could get out of the scenario, Mike. I just don't want to. I just really want to test these, uh, what are they, what kind of winches are these? These KFI know. stealth winches? Yeah. These like very high dollar options for, Ar for Argo. Um, I will say too, adding, you know, just an update is they are like when you go down like a little bit of a ravine, you do kind of hit your front. So having that grill does help protect that front plastic quite a bit. So I want to say the people we got these from, I don't remember how much the options were. There was a lot of money to put with them most of these. Let's see. I acquired this one in right. Wait a minute, Tanner, were you stuck on the log? Yeah. Oh, that's, oh, he's stuck on that tree there. Yeah. I, I oh. I to test it over here in the deep mud. Remember that we always get stuck? Yeah. Okay, I see now why you're stuck. Oh. So he actually is stuck. I wanted to, but I didn't want to. Okay. Let's see. Bro, I like this one has the deeper wheels. Yep, you could use this as a step. <laughs> Dude, how funny would that have been if he would have fell face first into the mud? That would have been pretty funny. You would have seen it here first. What are we going to do when we're 70? <laughs> <laughs> All right, hold on. Let me hold on. Let me keep the winch tight. No, no, you stay, you stay recording. All right, so the winch has already paid for itself. I think my Phillies came out. All right, hold on, hold on. Are you done with the winch now? Yeah, Also, synthetic rope, huge plus. I didn't really need that, Mike. See, this is why I wanted to test how fast it could reel in. It's taking us some time. As, as pulling the engine. Good. Hold on. Look it on the body? Yep. Okay. Keep going. Oh. All <laughs> They're growing on me for sure. For sure. How much do you think all the chains would be in the whole thing? Like brand new chains? From Argo's website. A couple that's thousand really, bucks. You think so? Yeah. Because that's really the only like hard wearable on these is like yeah, bearings the bear and chains. Yeah, like the bearings are pretty cheap. Um, I mean, they're okay, like 40 bucks a wheel. Cheap. All right, 40 bucks for the outside ones and about 30 for the inners. I would um, say 40 and 40, so 80 per wheel. 80 per wheel. That's so that's already a lot. Yeah. I mean that's So far the biggest thing that we've I mean the the steering in thick mud doesn't happen and going up a creek embankment um it just wants to pop you back with the middle wheel not allowing you to crest over it. Um, also, let me talk to your audience here. The reason you don't see the orange 600 in the video is because we've driven both of them 
And honestly, they're gonna do the exact same thing as these because it's the exact same width as the 650. It just has a little bit less horsepower. It's the same width, same tires, same exact everything. So if that's doing it, the 600 will do it, just a little bit less power. And I will say too, it is really nice having the wheels a little bit wider so when you step in, you can actually have something to step on. I know it's the little things, but it helps. Right, guys that was a blast when we first started I did not think we we're gonna have much fun as we actually did we had a blast at the end, when we, as soon as we got kind of used to them driven a lot of four wheelers and dirt bikes and I'll tell you what this is a whole different fun uh, you can't really compare it to a four wheeler because it is a totally different machine in regards to why the 600 is still clean we never even took it out because we really thought that with the terrain that we were going through we absolutely needed the extra five horsepower in these 23 horsepower engines. Comparing the carburetor to the fuel injected, the fuel injected is well worth the money. It starts super easy, has a lot more bottom end torque, and um, just overall drives a lot smoother. Comparing the 650 to the 700 in the tire size and the width, Going through the trails and turning, I think the 650 is a little bit more nimble, but when it got to the creek and really when it got buried down with water, the 700 just did circles around the 650. The wider tires really gave it that bite that it needed, um, especially when things got a little bit thick. Um, overall, super stoked about the Argos. We're trying to figure out how we can probably keep one. Uh, they are really, really fun. 
Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video as much as we did. We had a blast doing it. If you guys have any questions, please don't hesitate to leave them in the comment box and please click that subscribe button.